Hey people, welcome back to the Becoming series, exploring the deep truths and the principles that will enable you to become everything you were created to be and do. So, by design, uh, a couple of episodes or some episodes back, I talked about pattern, right? Or patterns or patterning. Um, and essentially, I said among other things that um, a pattern is a recurring theme that you'd find in an overall design, right? Some things that happen repeatedly. If you look back over the course of your life, you discover that you've been seeing some recurrent patterns, some recurrent things that have gone on, whether it was the way you you, you spoke or thought or your actions. You know, there are things that, you know, were just repeated at various times. Um, but let's link this to by design. What, what does it mean to do something by design. It means that you're you're doing it deliberately or intentionally. You're intentional about doing this thing. And um, if you've created something, you've created it by design. Um, which, which leads me to, because some time ago we talked about um, creation, right? The concept of creation. And I'd said that God as the creator, um, it is his nature to be purposeful in everything that he does. He does nothing arbitrarily. Nothing is just for the fun of it. Nothing is just for the sake of it. Everything is intentional. Everything is purposeful. No matter what it is, whatever you see in creation, right, was created for a purpose. Even if you don't know what that purpose is, doesn't mean that there isn't a purpose, right? So everything has a purpose. Now, by design, when something is created by design, it means that for it to accomplish its purpose, it must have the potential to do it. So if you're supposed to be a great singer, right, if that's your destiny, if, if, if that is your calling, it means that you'll be naturally gifted with um, the ability to produce a great voice, a, a great singing tune, right, that would attract people's attention. Yes, you will have to work at it. Yes, you'd have to develop it. But that natural gift will be there from the get-go. And you would find yourself attracted to music, right? It wouldn't just be um, arbitrary. It wouldn't just be, okay, yeah, I think I want to sing today. Something would happen that would that would ensure that you are attracted to music because, because that is going to be your expression, your expression of being your true self, music, right? I'm relating it to um, being a singer. Right, so it means that we were created by design. It means that our temperament, um, the way we take information, the way we're designed, our facial structures, our noses, right, our heights, our skins. Well, if you've been taking care of yourself, I'm not talking about um, doing stuff that is that are detrimental to your health. The way you're naturally made, naturally packaged, naturally designed, um, speaks to your purpose, right? In order for you to achieve your purpose, you must be designed in a particular way. So, for, for example, Dr. Martin Luther King wasn't the tallest guy in the world, wasn't the most handsome, wasn't, um, you know, he wasn't the lightest colored, you know, um, black American. But even though he was short and stout, he had this great, big, booming voice, right, that he developed over time. And that was because of his physiology, right? Um, and the way his, his chords were, were structured, they had the ability to produce this huge sound that, you know, if another person who didn't have that sort of um, gift um, tried to do, they might end up hurting themselves. Have you, ever, have you ever noticed that if you try to copy a singer whose, vocal, um, or whose vocals are not um, in alignment with yours, that you find yourself in trouble? I remember that happened to me a lot. And um, for example, I wanted to, whenever I heard a great singer or a great voice on the radio or in a CD or whatever it was, and I liked the song and I liked what they were doing, I tried to copy them. But I find myself in trouble because it, because my voice, my singing voice is, you know, it's light um, and it's more suited to smooth sort of songs, you know. So for instance, if I were going to be a professional singer, I would, I would more or less focus on things like R&B type music right, that would showcase my voice to its best advantage. But if I tried rock music, for instance, 
sometimes I try to sing like Michael Bolton. If you remember Michael Bolton from back in the day, I'd be straining my voice and my vocal cords will pop out. And I nearly gave myself, you know, laryngitis from trying to copy Michael Bolton. But I wasn't designed to sing like him. He, he his his voice and his chords were designed to produce that sort of sound. I, I couldn't do it, even though yeah, I could try some form of rock, but to sing like Michael Bolton, nah, 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 nah. I'd, I'd just kill myself. I'd end, up, I'd end up hurting myself. So you have to look at what your design is because that's really a clue. Everything you're designed that is natural, natural that's a natural fit is a clue to your purpose because whatever your purpose is, you have been given the natural design to accomplish, right? So don't discount yourself. Don't discount the way you look. Don't discount the way, um, you know, the, the color of your skin don't discount don't don't discount yourself don't discount your physical characteristics you know there are so many stories about people who didn't like how they looked and all of that wanted to do nose jobs and all sorts of jobs on their bodies i'm not saying don't keep yourself um in in physical health in good physical health right but discounting that don't don't go out of your out of way to change yourself just because you think that how you look like doesn't conform to the world standards of beauty, for instance. You are designed in a specific way because your purpose requires that you are designed in a particular way. An elephant has power and he was designed to have that sort of power in his body. That is why he, he was designed that way, huge and big, right? An ant has a different purpose. So he doesn't need to be as huge as the elephant. He needs to be as small as he is in order to... Um, you know, accomplish what his purpose is. So whatever your purpose is, you are designed specifically for that purpose. So everything is by design.